Hello there, um, my name is Pete. Um, I observe on the Isle of Wight, which is a small island off the south coast of England. And uh, my hobby is obviously amateur astronomy. And I like doing that using electronic assisted astronomy, which uh, replaces the eyepiece with a camera um, and allows me to see things that I've, I would never have seen before visually um, with the same scope. The scope I'm using is a Celestron CPC 800 and the camera is an Alta Astro uh, 294C Pro, which is fan cooled, um, not tech cooled. Uh, current temperature is 16 degrees for that camera now. Um, one thing I was uh, struggling with was focusing. And uh, I went through the Nina route and I went through trying to just eyeball it on the screen. Um, but I finally came up with a solution which works for me. And so I thought I'd just share it with you guys. Um, it might help and you might also go, well, that's just silly. It's a much better way of doing it. In which case, fine, let me know. That'd be fantastic. Um, so I'm going to, to focus um, my telescope using sharp caps inbuilt tools, which um, with Nina, I had to keep on switching between tools and, you know, and got a bit boring. So I decided to, to learn how to do it using sharp caps tools. Um, the first mistake I made was I didn't allow anything for backlash, which was probably the reason I failed quite a lot. Um, so there's mechanical backlash in the focusing mechanism of my telescope. Um, there's probably in the focus motor that's attached. There's a Celestron focuser attached to the back of my CPC 800 as well. Um, and I tried to estimate the, the how much backlash it was, how much you know um, movement I had to allow for in the kind of mechanical chain. And it kind of worked. But what was kind of the saving grace was a new way of doing it called overshoot, where you don't really care too much as long as you uh, allow more than the mechanical movement in your in your focuser, then it will take out all this backlash out, which is which is what it did. So um, in SharpCap, if you go up to File and um, SharpCap Settings and then go to Hardware, uh, I have defined here for my CPWI focuser, overshoot, which always approaches from a single direction. My approach is negative, um, uh, which means that when I'm moving in, there is no backlash um, uh, backlash um, offset applied. But when I move outwards positively, so I increase the number of my on my focuser, it does apply apply a backlash compensation of 150. So if I tell it to move out 50, it will actually move out 200 and then come back in 150 to come to the 50 that I wanted to do. And this um, this is was straightforward. I just made this number big. Um, 150 seemed to be about the right number. Um, and uh, it takes care of all the backlash. So here I am, I'm on M M71. Uh, I want to focus on M71. And my procedure is quite simple, um, is that I will go up and I'll go into Multistar FWHM. And the secret is you've got to be near focus, near good focus anyway. Now, as you see, um, it's highlighting these stars within this rectangle. Now, in Sharpcap, there's a little area which you select, um, which you can select when you want to do filters and so on, and also when you want to do uh, focusing. Now, if I allow it to do the whole frame, I notice that towards the edge of my frame, that the stars are distorted, and that's most probably going to affect my, my focusing. So what I do is I set up an area towards the middle, um, to get rid of that distortion. The next thing I want to do is I want to uh, move 40 outwards. And if I move 40 outwards, I'm just going to take all the backlash up. Um, and it also allows me then to start running forward and trying to find the best focus. So I go down to my CPWI focus controller down here and I press it's set to 40. And I'm just going to go out 40. And you'll notice that the stars will get very donutty because it's actually moving out. Uh, 190 and then moving 150 back so it ends up being 40 and as you see I'm out of focus in my options down here let me just move myself out the way um, in my options down here 
in the focusing, I've set it for a step, uh, scan step size of 10. I did try five and the difference didn't seem, it seemed harder to focus. Um, so I switched to 10. The maximum step count, that's the number of steps that I'm going to move along in blocks of 10, is 15. And I'm going to sample twice at each location as I move. Um, and that's my settings. So I've moved um, out now. I'm just going to reset. And as you see, it says it can see 36 stars. So if we watch it when I press in, it will move uh, 10 in and it will take another two samples. And as you see, it's improved the focus, which makes sense because we knew we'd moved out uh, 40 and now it's moved in 10. Then it takes another one. And what we're trying to form, or what SharpCap's trying to find, is a nice curve, a parabolic curve that fits between these points and will give me the point of best focus. So we're still moving in, and our focus seems to be improving. Oh, so now our focus is not improving, it's actually going up again on the other side. So hopefully soon, Sharp Cat will now detect that there is a line of best fit for its parabolic curve. And there it is. It might give this a couple more goes, but then it usually decides that it's had enough and that it can safely say where the best focus point is. And it will move back to the best focus point. And there you go. It's now going to move back to the best focal point, which still uses the same backlash settings. It goes out and comes back in to where it should be. And then hopefully now we've got a very good focus. So we're doing it now at 2.6, 60 stars. And that means now that we can start uh, imaging. Um, at any point during the evening that I wanted to um, refocus, if I go up to my tool menu, there's an automatic refocus that uses all those settings that we've just set up and it will, it will do it again. So if I press it again, it will go into it. Now, the only thing I've noticed about this, I don't find a way of setting up a rectangle. So I, a square of interest that I want to use, it, it uses all of the stars. I, I'm not sure that's um, good, but uh, as you see, it's now going exactly as it did just now, but it's using the same settings, but across the entire field of view. Um, I think that's not really right. I think you should maintain your the square of, of your required, you know, where you wanted to do it. Although, of course, it would depend on what object, I suppose. Um, but there you go. That's how I use uh, Multistar FWHM in SharpCap to focus. Thank you.